What is up, my dudes? It is your boy, Poison Fang, here with vlog number Ocho. Actually, Hachi. Yes, uh, right now I am trying to learn a new language, guys. I am trying to learn Japanese at the moment. <laughs> um, so... Right now, I can count all the way up to a hundred in Japanese. I know some some greetings, but I have to take like quick looks at them again to refresh my memory. Uh, if you're noticing, uh, yes, I did this to myself. Um, I shaved off a piece of my eyebrow because I thought it would look awesome and it somewhat does. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're probably wondering why I haven't been on my channel for a couple weeks. Well, the truth is I've actually started a second channel. So... Listen, guys, I learned of something new in YouTube's little development that was going to get my channel restricted because I do, like, Nintendo stuff. I do, um, I do things like, I do anything from Nintendo to cosplaying conventions to amiibo unboxings and stuff like that so basically YouTube thought it was a good idea to restrict my channel because it has child aimed content my ch my Content is not aimed at children, guys. It is aimed at anyone who wants to fucking watch it. Oh, disclaimer. Uh, this can... Warning. This video contains many, many words of foul language. Some rage. And very... Very angry moments. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, with that disclaimer out there. All right. So I didn't want this to be a rant. I wanted this to be a peaceful vlog. Because from how many views I've gotten on my vlogs, you guys seem to like them. And that's great. I'm glad you guys like these vlogs. Trust me. It's good to get this shit off my chest. So in a way, it helps both of us. You like watching me vlog about different shit. And I get to get things off my chest. So thank you all for listening to my vlogs. Thank you for... Um, Listening to my drama that I deal with every fucking day. So the big thing is that YouTube decided they're going to restrict channels based on their content. And so anything that has to do with DIYs, if you don't know what DIY is, it's called do it yourself. Uh, anything that has to do with crafts which I'm gonna tell you right now there are more than just children that want to watch crafts people look at how-to videos for a reason YouTube you need to stop thinking that every person that does a craft or a DIY or 
does anything that has something to do with like video games as well, you need to stop thinking that that has something to do with children. It doesn't. I don't know who's running your database right now, but they are certainly not the smartest person. If they did not understand this point by now, there are adults, pure, full-fledged adults, YouTube, that play video games, that love to watch DIYs, and love to make crafts. Did you not understand that? Or does the person doing your analytics, do they not understand that little piece of information? Are they not smart enough to understand that? And you know what? If you want to come after me, that's fine. If you want to flag me because I'm telling the truth about your bullshit analytics and statistics that you guys think is right, fine. Flag me. Go for it. I don't care. But someone needs to come up to you and tell you that what you're doing is wrong. And that the person doing your analyses and your statistics on content, and if it's aimed at children or if it's aimed at all audiences, that person is stupid. They are not smart at all if they honestly think that anyone who wants to watch a craft being done, a DIY, or watch video games being played is a child, regardless of age. It's called being a child at heart, you dingus. Yeah, guys, go ahead, because I'm sure that YouTube's either going to flag me or they're going to ban me from YouTube. So you might as well pack your stuff up and go. I do have a second channel, which... Um, has to do with voice acting, which according to YouTube standards, their new standards, it is not child aimed. It is not aimed at children audiences. It is aimed at adult audiences and adolescents. They are aimed at teenagers to adults. If children want to watch, that is fine, but I have disclaimers put in every single video that I make on my second channel that says, warning, this video contains foul language, suggestive themes, and possible rage. That's literally what disclaimer I put on every one of those voice acting videos that I've done on my second channel. Which if you guys don't know by now, which of course I don't expect you guys to know right now, is... Um, oh shit. It's called The Evans Family. Because I put it like that because of... Um, It's not just going to be me on that channel. It's going to be my fiance on that channel, my best friend Landon. He's going to be on that channel too. And later on in life when I do have children and they want to get into voice acting as well, that is also for them. Like when they get to be like 14, 15, and they want to start discovering their voice. I'm like, go for it, and if you want to put it on YouTube, you go for it. Just put it on our family channel. So no, just because it's on a just because it says the Evans family does not mean anything that has to do with oh, okay, so it's a family channel, 
so it's kid friendly. No, it's not. I can already expect my children to talk with foul language by the time they're in their teens. And if you guys think that's bad parenting, that's your that's your ideation, not mine. To me, I'm like, look, okay, you want to cuss, that's fine. But just turn it down a notch when you're around your parents. That's what I do. I turn it down a notch. I don't go full force around my parents. You think they honestly get to hear me say fuck? Or bitch? Or anything like that? No, they don't. Because they don't like those words, so I don't use it around them. That's why I only use it on this channel or when I'm talking with Bethany or Landon. So, yes guys, for the reason that I have not been on my channel lately is because I have been on my second channel called The Evans Family doing voice lines. If you guys want to check that out, feel free to. Uh, and if you want to put any comments down there in the discussions, go for it. Tell me if there's anything I can do better. Or tell me what you think of the voice lines. If they sound good. If they sound like at all similar to the actual voice. If so, great. That means I'm doing good. If not, just tell me what I can do. I'll be happy to listen to what you guys need to tell me. Um, well, now that the rant is over, time for a vlog. The vlog being, okay, I found out, if you guys did not see my previous video about the Nintendo Direct reaction, Overwatch has come to Switch now. You know for a fact I plan to get this game. I also told Landon that I'm going to buy his copy as well as a friendship gift. Like, thanks for dealing with my shit for so many years. Because guys, it's been like 14 years. Me and Landon have been best friends for 14 years. You would think that someone who has to deal with my shit would leave by then. They'd be out the fucking door. Be like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. No, no, Landon knows me so well that any of my shit that I say, he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so it, it doesn't phase him anymore. Like anything I say does not phase him. Basically, you guys have seen my personality throughout all of my videos. But what I haven't told you is that shit gets a little bit more crazy when I'm around Landon only. Well, actually around Bethany too, but shit gets a little crazy when I'm around Landon. And if you guys want to check out why I say that, <laughs> go to Landon's Twitch channel. He'll definitely, you'll definitely see why I say that. Um, cause when it's both of us together and we're playing a video game, if any one of you have seen Game Grumps, look at one of their videos and then look at one of Landon's Twitch videos with me included when we're playing like, uh, Smash Bros or, uh, <laughs> When we're playing co-op on, um, on Pokemon, definitely watch one of those, because that's when you'll see the the similarities between them. Game Grumps, a Game Grumps two. Me and Landon are literally the next Game Grumps. We're the second Game Grumps because. <laughs> We literally are... L I'm Aaron. Landon is Danny. So we're Aaron and Danny right now. That's literally our personalities. Because I'm the loud one who 
curses a lot, yells, rages, and says lewd shit all the time. Landon does not. He doesn't say lewd shit. Like, he doesn't cuss at all. Not like Danny does, but he doesn't curse. He doesn't really do much. He's just, he's just like the quiet one that's easily pleased with a video game. And I'm like, fuck! <laughs> uh, so yeah, we found that out. And I'm like, oh my dear Jesus. I've never thought about it until Landon brought it up. He's like, oh my god, dude. You need to realize this. You are Aaron and I'm Danny. And I'm like... Mind blown, bitch. We found out we're the second Game Grumps. So, I'm really hoping that, if anything, um, if anything, maybe by some, like, sliver of a chance that maybe Aaron and Danny might happen to see one of these videos of mine and look at this one particularly, la, 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 I cannot speak today, <laughs> um, particularly my vlog eight slash rant and they'll happen they'll happen to hear this part about me saying that we're basically the second game grumps and if they do happen to see this by some sliver of a motherfucking chance oh which would be awesome and I'd be very grateful like I'm not, it's no joke, I'd be very grateful if they actually did get to see this video. And, um, if anything, like, literally, okay, Landon's Twitch channel is Lando plays with a Z and then games, normally. It's all one word, no caps. So, I don't know what else to say, though. I mean, oh, right, right, okay. So, I know I haven't been on my, my original YouTube channel for a while, so you guys don't really know what I've been up to. Well, one, just got some more things for my steampunk outfit and now my steampunk outfit is complete so now i'm going to be a nicely dressed grim reaper yeah that's gonna be fun <laughs> um okay so i've even taken a picture of it i look technically horrible right now but that's because i didn't have my top hat along with my goggles. So once I get my top hat and goggles and I put the whole damn thing on, I'm gonna have Bethany uh, take a picture of me. Oh, and I've also been doing good too, guys. I've been actually drinking a lot more Coke Zero now instead of regular Coke. It's good, it's good shit. Oh, good shit. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, I, I've actually been doing a lot better with that. Who knows? Probably lost some pounds. I would hope so. Okay, so... Uh, oh my god. If y'all couldn't tell, I'm trying to grow out my hair again. Like I did in my... like way back in the way back original videos that I used to do when I was in my um, late teens early 20s I'm definitely trying to do that because, because holy shit that hair was 
awesome. I don't even know why I got rid of that hair. I just, I don't understand why. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, one thing. I, got, I will be right back, guys. All right, I'm back. Okay, so. <laughs> Look, guys, I've been trying my best here on not spending money unnecessarily. I've been trying to not do that more because I'm trying to be the, you know, the responsible adult that I'm supposed to be. That should have been, like, years ago. But... All right, when I was a kid, I had a Rock Leon Beyblade from Metal Fusion. Well, I lost it. Either that or I gave it away, and I regretted it after trading it. And I'm like, well, that sucks ass. That literally just slurps it all up out of that asshole. <laughs> Well, it did, and I'm like, shit. So how am I gonna get my re my Leon back, or how am I gonna get another one? Because by the time I tried to get another one, they didn't have any more Leons, either that or I didn't have the money to. So, I. I did bad. I got me a Fang Leon off of um, geek.com. Which, if you don't know what geek is, geek is actually a branch from wish.com. And honestly, I know how people would say, oh, that, oh, that site is so bad. I got something from there, too, and it was terrible. They didn't get it in on time. Uh, they, uh, they screwed up my package. It's all bent and cracked and smashed. I'm like, okay, that, that happens. You got to be accepting of that and just think, oh, maybe my package is okay on the inside. Look, okay, my package for this damn thing, it was smashed. Like, it had, it had a smashed in corner. So what? But yet, my product was just fine. But all I'm saying is that I did bad. I shouldn't have gotten this, but... It was, it was worth it. Somewhat. It was somewhat worth it. So, I now have a Fang Leon at my disposal. Okay, so, on another note, on a side note, have any of you guys ever felt so hungry that your stomach just thinks for you? Because that's what happened to me today. Like, no joke, no joke. I literally got so much shit from the gas station that is, like, right next to me. I got freaking... Okay, so they have two the two Coke product for, like, 282. And getting a normal one is, like, 130-something. So you're paying... No? It's 180-something. So you're almost paying, like, three bucks. For two of them normally, but they have a deal where you get like two for 282. I'm like, okay, that's fine, I'm saving some cents. So I got those two. My stomach was like, oh no, we need something to eat first. Got some fucking sweet southern heat barbecue chips. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Here's a fucking like. Fudge round that's like mostly eaten. Right here, here. Um, mm. 
Okay. I'm fully eaten now. Oh, but that wasn't all. Uh, we got a fucking Star Crunch. Seriously? Seriously, stomach? Why do you gotta be like that? Why Why do you gotta think for me and be like, Oh, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna take control of your fucking mind. I fucking fudge brownie with walnuts. On it. And you thought that wasn't enough? A fucking nutty bar? Like, what the hell? Oh. But you know what? That wasn't real food. My fucking stomach wanted some real food to go with the junk. A fucking buffalo chicken wrap. And yes, you guys saw that right. It's a fucking five star. That's like right next to my house. I'm like, what the hell, stomach? Why would you make me buy all this shit? What the fuck do you want? The fuck? Says I'm live. Oh, okay. Wow, that was yesterday, you dumbass. I don't know what the hell that was. It's my fucking Gmail saying that, oh, you're live. That was yesterday. I was fucking live yesterday doing Mr. Popo voice lines. Yes. Yes, I was fucking doing Mr. Popo voice lines. Because of this. Hi. That's just a sample of what I can do with his voice. And the... Okay, so... The other voices I did around Popo's voice, I did Kami, which I can do just fine. Like Bulma and Krillin, I didn't do much. I didn't really, I didn't put much emphasis on them. So I didn't really try to do their voices because I'm like, okay, I'm just focusing on Popo. Okay, so if I'm focusing on his voice, I need to put an emphasis on it and not really try with the other ones. But I just, I don't understand, guys. Why do our stomachs do this? Why do they think for us? Like, all this is bullshit. I did not need to get a fudge brownie. I didn't need to get a star crunch. I didn't need to get, well, maybe the nutty bar. Th those, that shit's good. Let me tell you. But I did not need to get a fudge round. I didn't need that. I would have been fine with the southern heat chips, the buffalo chicken wrap, and two... Two Cokes, because that's a deal. Paid a total of like 10 fucking dollars for that shit, and I'm like, God dang it, why? Oh, and got my got one of my favorite shirts on. Oh my god, will you shut the hell up? You too! I know I can't do a really good um, Walter voice, but I can at least sound like an old man. I can. That's why I can sound like Kami from Dragon Ball Z. I can also sound like Elder Kai, like the old, the old Supreme Kai. So, uh, some updates. I am, 
I'm doing all right with my classes. I am keeping up with my assignments and things like that. Son of a bitch. I just now realized I have to go to work at three. Fuck. Oh well. I just hope it's a relaxed night. That would be good. I hope to God it's relaxed. I do not feel like dealing with their ener energetic butts today. All right. Um, trying to figure out what else I have for this video because I'm already at like 30 minutes, almost 31 minutes of a video. I don't like to keep it uh, lingering too long because I know that you guys might lose interest. Oh, oh, one thing I forgot. I noticed I lost a subscriber, so I'm like, oh, that hurts. Someone got bored with me and unsubscribed. That hurts my feelings. It really does. Plus, Wolfenstein's going to kill me if he hears about this. Jesus. He's going to call me every name under the sun. Well, we did at least decide on, you know, conventions. Like, we plan to go to a KaiCon. We have our three, no, four cosplays thought of. And I already have two of my four. But it's not until next July, so that's okay. We have that ready and set up. I just need to get enough money saved up and into my jar at home so that way we can go because i would like to see and you know get an autograph from chuck huber because he is at least one of the voice actors of android 17 so i'm actually happy about that uh i want to be able to see who else is coming like i hope that I hope that Vic Mignogna is able to come to a KaiCon. Like, I really want him to come to that because I want to see him. I want to, you know, meet the voice of Broly, the voice of Edward Elric. I want to see that. I want to see... I want to meet him really bad. Plus, I wanted to maybe talk with him just a little bit. No, not about anything bad or anything that's been going on lately. What I want to do is I want to... I want to meet him and be like, Hey, you know, you're one of my favorites. I love the voice of Edward Elric that you do and Broly. Uh, is there any tips or pointers you have for someone who's trying to get more into it? Of course, he'd probably ask, okay, what voices are you, are you good at? Or is this for you or someone else? I'm like, it's for me. And right now, the only voices I can really do are quite a few of them, but I can do... Majin Buu, I can do Vegeta, which, by the way guys, Buu is coming up next for my second channel, so if you want to check that out, definitely hit up the Evans Family um, second channel, and you'll definitely get to hear some voices. Thing is, I'm probably going to go into some improv with Buu, because... With that voice, I mean, I don't know his personality completely, but I know that he lives with Hercule, or Mr. Satan. I know that he lives with him. So, 
if that's the case, I'm going to try my best to do some improv with him and Hercule. Thing is, I'm not very good with Piccolo, but I can do Jesse McCree from Overwatch, Junkrat from Overwatch, Elder Kai from DBZ, and I'm just now getting into Frieza. I didn't think I could get that voice until recently when I did a voice comparison because I like to do mimicry. So I don't really know how well um, I don't really know how well I can do it, but I would at least try. <clears throat> All right, so it is now 36 minutes on this video. I think I'm gonna call it here, guys. Um, if you did like this video, however, feel free to tickle that like button until it gives it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like what I do, you like my content for any reason whatsoever, one, what is wrong with you? Two, hit that subscribe button for me. And if you want to keep up with all the content that I make, whether it be good, bad, ugly, or fucking beautiful, <laughs> uh, ring that bell as if you're Jack Stepkai saying, ding, 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 top of morning, and on his Minecraft. Hitting it with an Irish potato. With an Irish potato. But you ring that bell good and hard. Like you're trying to wake up the whole neighborhood. And also, if you are interested in my second channel, The Evans Family, um, feel free to type that in and just listen to my uh, voice lines. See if you like them. Put down in the comments section what you think of them. Um, if you like this video, feel free to put some comments down and see what you want me to do next. Like what you want me to talk about. If there's any real world issues or things that, you know, you guys really want to be said and heard, then feel free to put them in the comments and I will read them. I promise I will read them. And I will definitely see what needs to be happening in the next video. Okay? Alright. Yeah, stay beautiful. Also, uh, if you want to check out my wife's channel, it is... Actually, you know what? Just go to my channel. Just click on my name. And then you'll see hers in there. It's an icon of Bendy. And it'll say, like, Bethany Arnold. So, feel free to check out that channel. Um, there's also Landon Does Stuff. So, he has a few videos out already. Uh, go ahead and check that out. And if you want to check out his Twitch channel, it's Lando Plays with a Z Games. Regular. No caps. All one word. Alright. Well, you guys stay beautiful. I hope everything's going alright with school or college or whatever maybe it's work and you're having a tough day and you want to listen to this video by all means go for it I will be happy if I'm the one making you laugh today it would be my pleasure all right you guys stay beautiful inside and out and I will see you all in the next motherfucking video bye bye <laughs>